Hi, my name is Raina Barker and I'm with Good Sense Dog Training. And I'm here at the West LA Shelter on Pico in West LA. And what I'm about to do is go out into the yard with some volunteers who volunteer here at the shelter. And we have classes every Sunday, basically, teaching the volunteers about dog handling and about dog temperaments and how to uh, get them out, how to assess them and work with them. Um, all the dogs here at the shelter are individuals. It's not like an obedience pet class because they're an unknown entity pretty much. So we assess each one individually and, and work with their individual issues and uh, that's how the volunteers learn. Um, we're walking into the kennels to get a dog out to evaluate. He's been here for a couple of months, so we're going to get him out and see how he is. So. You might be able to loop him with food. What happens when we first bring out a dog that we're not familiar with, we kind of just let him sniff, smell around, check out his environment, and let him settle in a little bit, okay? This dog is head shy, meaning hands coming towards him scare him, and sometimes those dogs will bite, you know, when, when you come at them like that. So I'm just kind of warming up to him. He's taking treats nicely, but it's okay, good boy. Trying to desensitize him to touch in a non-threatening way workable as you can see we just kind of go slow and help them learn that we're safe we're not going to hurt them but it is a process and in the shelter system it's challenging to work through these issues because the dogs usually on here long enough with enough consistency to get them through it typically what you do when you have a dog head shy yeah, underneath. yeah and you hold it and then use this other hand that's okay good boy you know and and as he's eating pet you know, don't try. I mean, he, does he need right. to get kind of desensitized to the hand coming over? Absolutely. Right. You know, you can do that too. What a good boy. This dog coming out is for the really high energy, jumpy, bouncy dog. High energy breeds, they want to run, run, run. But if we do a lot of this right off the bat, you know, and try and control that, you know, it really creates a lot of frustration in them and they pull and strain against that leash. I want a nice loose leash. So to have him learn to have a nice loose leash, I keep my body as my, um, kind of like the post and have him realize he can't drag my butt around and if he hits the end, he's not going anywhere. I'm not jerking him at all. I'm holding the leash static next to my body and he's going for it and hitting the end of the leash and already he's calming down, you know, because if I were to start doing battle with him and jerking him around and trying to keep a tight leash, he would fight that all the more. See, he's pulling and pulling, so I'm going to do this. You can't pee on my mat. No, I don't want you peeing on my mat. So I'm gonna back, good job, very nice. So the moment he came towards me, okay, he's making a choice to come towards me nicely and I reward that. Pretty soon you're gonna find we're not gonna have such a tight line anymore. Let him hit it. Yep. Good boy. He comes back. Good boy. Very nice. So you kind of see what we're doing to get him leash comfortable and understand that somebody's at the other end of the leash. You guys, we're going to try and do a meeting. I don't like to have them meet right off the bat when she's kind of like anxious for coming into the yard, getting her bearings, just coming out of the kennel have them calm down a bit, like he's calmed down a lot. Okay, I'm gonna let her come to him. Three seconds is all we're gonna do. Good, one, oh no, jumping, one and two and three, okay. Come on, good job, good job. He wants to play too, but we're not gonna do that so much. We're not gonna do that so much. Wanna do it again? Do it again? 
Okay, so now see, she's not, you did that one and now she's not interested, okay? But we'll see what she does. Again, you have to have them want to do it mutually. And he too, he's like, okay, we did it, now we're done. What you saw today is a number of things out there in the yard with the dogs. We did some introductions, um, and typically what I do with introductions is just three seconds. And I don't allow the dogs to meet unless I see them both calm enough to do so, and also that they're both willing and mutual uh, participants in this. If one dog is too riled up or the other dog is ignoring the other one, we don't do it, okay? It has to be a mutual thing, and then it usually goes very well. And three seconds is all I allow. Um, otherwise, we go too long in the face and it creates angst and usually that's when somebody gets upset. Uh, the other thing we did today um, is approachment. Um, when a shy dog is fearful, is really unsure with uh, individuals and people, um, you don't want to just charge into a dog. You want to see if you can have him get comfortable with you. So we do sideways meets, we squat down, uh, don't come over the dog. And uh, if they'll take treats, that's a real indication that the dog isn't too stressed to take treats. That's really good. That, that's helpful because that breaks the eyes. The dog will take treats from you. Now you can approach him a little more willingly he's going to be willing to come in and take your treats and get to know you so we did a little bit of that um, handling leash handling is a real challenge for most people and the old habits are to jerk a dog around hang tightly onto that leash steer the dog and that creates a lot of problems with most dogs um, because it creates more agitation more stress that collar being tight and here you are steering and jerking the dog around and here we are in a stressful environment anyway so what we want to do is diffuse that stress have that dog learn to walk nicely on a loose leash so um, I demonstrated how I, I keep the leash next to my body my body is my stationary point that's my strong um, point that I hold the leash at right here I'm not using my arms a lot to move the dog around I brace myself with my legs and hold the leash let the dog get out he slacks off he comes back and he gets rewarded for that and pretty soon the dog is walking nice and loose next to you so we demonstrated some of that um, those are just some of the things we cover and we never know on a daily basis when we get out here what we're gonna see and what we're gonna deal with but that's kind of summarizes what we did today thank you